Today is New York, and thank God this isn't the third day of me being inside. I'm in Jamaica, Queens today, at one of my favorite parts in town, the Central Library. The New York's library system spans 209 branches, 7 research libraries, at least 5 bookmobiles, 63 million items, most of which are at the main branch of the New York Public Library, which supports Manhattan, the Bronx, and Staten Island. And most importantly, three different library systems, thereby requiring me to carry around three different library cards. This building here falls under the Queensboro Public Library system. Now, are you using the three different systems? You know, they all united branches prior to the unification of New York City in 1898, a monumental event which I'll cover later on in the series. Brooklyn's libraries were unified first in 1892 by an act of New York State Legislature in Albany. In 1895, the, recent, the collections of John Jacob Astor and James Lennox were consolidated with the help of about $2.4 million from the late former governor, Samuel J. Tilden. In 1901, branches of the Manhattan, the Bronx, and the Staten Island came under the New York Public Library's purview, and in that same year, the new city government joined all libraries in Queens under one system, with Flushing being the lone holdout, holdout until two years later. Now, this is the second central library in the Queen's system's history. The first building was over on Parsons Boulevard, also in Jamaica, a beautiful four-story structure which was used from 1930 to 1966. However, it proved too small in this building here on Merrick Boulevard. Now, this is the first central library in an urban system of all its public services on one floor, leading to what you can probably see is an absurdly wide design. It covers basically the entire width of the bus terminal across from me and it's led to subdivisions like the media center inside to be almost buildings within buildings and one of the newer features of the library is this discovery center which opened this year or last year rather and serves as a hands-on science education center allowing many youngsters who use the library to be truly immersed in the sciences instead of just reading about them in the library's collections see you all tomorrow